Hi everyone, it's Nikki Gordon-Bloomfield here from Transport Evolved and let it not be said that I don't pay attention to what you say. See, I'm in a studio today. I could have recorded this in the car. In fact, I had plenty of time to record this morning, but no, I'm going to record it in my house because some of you said you'd prefer to see more studio stuff than in-car stuff. You're going to still see some in-car stuff, but I'll try and do more studio stuff as well. Thanks to everyone who watched last weekend's TEN. Great comments and feedback as always. And today I'm going to talk to you about a reader question that I've had lots and lots and lots and it pertains to the Nissan Leaf electric car. Specifically, whether people should buy used Nissan Leafs and then put brand new battery packs in. Is it cost effective? Should I do it? What do you think, Nikki? Help us out. So here, without further ado, is my response to those questions. So first up, the Nissan Leaf has been in production for just over six years. It entered into production in late 2010. It's still in production in 2017. And the car that you can walk into a Nissan dealership today and buy straight off the lot is pretty much the same car that was rolling off the production lines in 2010. Okay, there have been generational changes to the battery pack. For a start, the original Leafs had a 24 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery pack, and modern day Leafs have a 30 kilowatt hour battery pack, which means they can go further per charge. There's also been some tweaks under the hood to the motor and inverter. And yes, there are a few other nips and tucks here and there, but essentially they're all generation one cars. But for the purposes of today's video, I'm gonna talk about the earliest of early Nissan Leafs. That's essentially the 2011 and 2012 model year cars, and perhaps the 2013 model year. The 2013 was the first year, of course, that Nissan didn't make all of its cars in the same factory in Aparma, Japan. And that was the point at which some of those tweaks to the motor, the inverter, were made compared to the first two years of production. Now, essentially, those first generation Nissan Leafs are now starting to permeate well and truly into the used car market. In the last couple of weeks alone, I've seen Nissan Leafs go used 2011 and 2012 model year cars for as low as five, six or seven thousand US dollars on sites like eBay and AutoTrader. In the UK, too, there's been similar low, low prices. In fact, when I emigrated from the UK to the US in 2015, I sold my first generation Nissan Leaf for, I think, for five and a half, six thousand pounds. So they're certainly well within the budget of people looking to buy a used car. But the problem is, of course, that those early Nissan Leafs have now put many tens of thousands of miles on them. And those first generation battery packs, the ones that were used in the 2011 and 2012 model year cars, well, they've started to degrade. Most of the cars from that era will now have battery degradation of some form or another, and they will have lost some of their capacity bars. Now, that is partly due to the fact that Nissan was using its first generation battery technology on those vehicles, and it now offers a replacement program where you can buy a brand new Nissan Leaf battery pack to put in your aging Nissan Leaf to get back the original range and performance that you had when your car was new. Or, in fact, slightly better, because the replacement battery packs that Nissan will sell you today doesn't use the same cell chemistry as the 2011 and 2012 year cars, but uses the same cell chemistry as the 2016, 2017 model year cars. Although you only will get a 24 kilowatt hour pack, not, as some people have suggested, the 30 kilowatt hour pack, because Nissan's not making the 30 kilowatt hour pack available, at least as of yet. I know because I checked with Nissan today. So what's the price? Well, according to Nissan, at the moment in the US, you can look to pay $6,499 for your replacement battery pack, of which Nissan will give you back a $1,000 rebate if you exchange your car's old battery pack for the new one. And considering that battery swaps have to be done by Nissan dealers, because they're the only ones with all the equipment, you're essentially looking at paying $5,499 for a brand spanking new 24 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery pack to put back in your Nissan Leaf. Now, you won't get any extra range out of that pack because you're replacing an old previous generation 24 kilowatt hour pack with a new 24 kilowatt hour pack, but you will get improved performance in extremes of temperature and you will get better longevity for the battery overall, which means that you shouldn't have to replace it as soon in the future. Now comes the question of price and affordability. Should you do it? Well, that's down to you. Let's be honest, while Nissan is making this program available to Nissan Leaf owners in the US and in Europe, 
it doesn't necessarily want you to follow through and replace the battery with your car. After all, Nissan's business model is to sell you cars. And if Nissan dealers can sell you a brand new Nissan Leaf rather than convince you to put a new battery pack in your old Leaf, they're happy because they get more money out of that sale and so does Nissan. It's the same for Tesla. While Tesla did at one point in time offer owners of its Model S an upgrade pass so that they could go from 60 kilowatt hours of battery capacity up to 85 kilowatt hours of battery capacity, it's not something that Tesla does today. The same reason is true. Tesla would rather sell you a brand new car with a larger capacity battery pack than it would sell you a larger capacity battery pack for your existing car. Because at the end of the day, Tesla makes more money out of it. But there is a point at which the Nissan Leaf will drop to a price in which buying a battery upgrade is financially a sensible option. Now, if you really only need to do 60 or 70 miles per day on charge, or you've got access to Chademo or J1772 charging stations where you work or nearby, then it might be cheaper for you to buy a used Nissan Leaf and then put a brand new battery pack in. Let's do the math. You can pick up an early Nissan Leaf for as low as $6,000 if you look in the right place, and then trundle off to your local dealership to get a new battery put in. And then you end up with a gently used loved Nissan Leaf with a brand new battery pack, all for less than $12,000. That might actually be cheaper and more sensible than buying a more recent Nissan Leaf with a decently looked after battery pack in it. And although you can buy a more recent Nissan Leaf with a decently looked after battery pack for anywhere between ten dollars and $15,000, you won't be getting a brand new battery pack with that used car. You'll be getting the battery pack that that car left the factory with. And while the batteries are now much longer life than they once were, it might be more sensible to get a brand new battery pack and then you know how the battery's been treated. Now, what about the other components and doodads I hear you say? Well, I had a 2011 Nissan Leaf and I put over 80,000 miles on it. There was very little that went wrong. I had a few plastic trim parts come off the radio, but they were easy to replace. The seats were fine and the rest of the car held up miraculously well. There was no signs of rust either and the suspension and transmission system looked brand new. The thing to remember here is that there are very few moving parts in an electric vehicle, and so there's very little to go wrong as the vehicle ages. As long as the car itself's been looked after and is in decent mechanical state, you're still going to be better off buying a really early Nissan Leaf and then putting a new battery in it. That is, if you can bear with some of the quirks of the 2011 and 2012 models, such as not being able to have recirculation of air without running either the heater or the air conditioner, being able to have no telematic system unless you pay the extra $200 for the upgrade, or having a resistive heater that will suck your range in the winter if you want to stay warm. So there's my thoughts. If you can find a cheap, used, well looked after Nissan Leaf for between five and seven thousand pounds or dollars, and you're willing to put down another five and a half to put a new battery pack in, you're gonna end up with a really good car. But if you still want a Nissan Leaf that's got warranty, then you might find yourself buying a car that's just come off lease for about five or six thousand dollars more than the cost of the old car with a new battery pack. Which one would you do and why? Have I left anything out? Have you done exactly what I suggested? If so, let me know in the comments below, as well as like, comment, and subscribe. And if you liked what you saw today, please consider keeping us independent and impartial by making a donation to our crowdfunding campaign from as little as $1 per month through patreon.com, a link for which is at the end of this video. That's all I'm gonna say for today. Thanks for watching. I'm Nikki Gordon-Bloomfield. See you tomorrow and keep evolving.